Okay, here's our Echo Show 15. I got it uh, put up on the wall here and it's all working and set up. Let me go ahead and show you what I did here. I mounted the Echo Show 15 to the wall. I used the recommended wall mount. This is the recommended wall mount. It comes with some cord management here. And uh, in this case, I just bolted it into the stud right there. And then the cord wasn't long enough. So I bought this uh, power brick here that has a 10 foot cord on it. It also has uh, USB plugs up here. So I plugged in the, the blink antenna right back here and that goes into one of the USBs there. And then I plugged in the Echo 15 uh, brick here and then that goes into the um, Echo 15 underneath here. And then the mount here covers up the connector so you have to make sure you connect the uh, power first before you put the mount on there. All right, we got it all set up. And one of the cool things we wanted to do is we want to be able to look at our uh, ring camera. So all we have to do is say, computer, show us the front door. Okay. <laughs> it's got touch screen, so then that just comes up. Now we can see who's at our front door. And then there's a microphone so we can talk to them if we want. You can say hello. Oh, turn it off. And then you can say, computer, show me home screen. Computer, close front door view. There you go. And now you're back to your home screen, so pretty nice. The nice thing about this mount is it also rotates this way, so a shorter person, they could rotate it this way and then be able to look down there, and then a taller person can put it up there like that. So it's pretty nice that it's versatile. It can move side to side, and then it can move uh, up and down like that. But yeah, this mount is pretty nice. I can move it all the way over here so that I can face it into the kitchen, and then that way I can uh, watch some cooking videos or read recipes or add uh, new groceries to our grocery list. And so it's pretty nice to have this right here in a central location. I plan on hooking up a couple more uh, blink cameras to this so that I can put the blink cameras on the different sides of the house and then I can just ask to look at the different uh, areas. And then that way I'll be able to see what's going on really quick around my house from one central spot. So that's pretty nice. And then you could either tap on it to minimize it, or you could just say, computer, go home. And then you can close it out. Uh, the reason we changed the name to computer is because we have um, an echo show, and then we have a portal that has the Alexa on it. And so it gets confusing if you call them all one name, and they give you choice of different names you can choose. Computer. Open settings. It's under the settings here. And then you can go ahead and find your wake words. I think it's under talking to Alexa. Yes, wake word, computer. And these are your different choices. You could do Alexa, Amazon, computer, Echo, or Ziggy. Um, I just triggered the Alexa cancel. I triggered the other uh, Alexa device. So yeah, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, the computer comes from that old Star Trek movie where they travel back in time and then Scotty, the engineer from Star Trek, he goes, he goes to sit down at the computer, right? But he doesn't know how to uh, type or use a mouse or anything because it's all voice in the future in Star Trek. So he sits down at the computer and he says, computer, and nothing happens. And so then they hand him the, the mouse and then he holds the mouse up and says, computer. <laughs> And then they say, no, you have to type. So then he's like, oh, how quaint. And he starts typing. So we like that. We chose a uh, computer. And then if you're wondering, Echo, that's just because they have the Echo shows. So that's a choice you could do. And then Ziggy uh, represents David Bowie. That's a, a nickname for David Bowie if you're a David Bowie fan. So I'm Sorry, not... I don't have an answer for that. You can also choose the uh, voices. We'll go back here. And then if you go down here to device options... 
then you can uh, rename your device. We chose kitchen to name our device because it's right here in the kitchen. And then you can do your uh, language and then you can also change the voice if you want. So uh, Alexa has all these different voices you can choose from. You can choose the different voices here. You can choose American. There's two American choices. There's two Australian choices. There's two British choices. There's a Canadian choice and there's two Indian choices. We ended up going with the Australian choice. That's the one that my wife liked, so we went ahead and chose that. That was kind of fun. But yeah, you can go ahead and play on here and see, see what each one sounds like. The current U.S. flag was designed by a 17-year-old as a part of a school project. Wow. There's an official league for rock, paper, scissors. If you want to play some time, I'm game. So you could choose a male or a female voice. Same with the Australian. Koalas have fingerprints and they're very similar to a human's. So that was the one that we ended up choosing. And then once you got it set, you can see here it's uh, picked to that one, Australia one. <clears throat> then you just uh, go back. And if ever you want, you can just say uh, computer, home screen. And then you're back to the home screen. And if you want to go in and mess with the settings again, you can just say computer settings and then it opens up the settings for you it didn't come the one we got didn't come with a remote so we bought a uh, fire tv remote for this um, to pair the remote you go in here to uh, right here the um, fourth one down fire tv settings and then i went to the fire tv remotes pair a new remote and then that's when I, I follow the directions to pair it. And then you can also use your remote and then you can just hit the home screen. And then it takes you to the home screen. And this is good because you can also um, watch TV on here. You can watch uh, all the um, prime videos and all that kind of stuff. You can also put YouTube on here so you can use the remote to control things. You can put your other streaming sites on here. You can pretty much use this like a, like a TV if you wanted to as well. And that's good if you want to watch you know, cooking videos or something in the kitchen or however you want to do it. So we decided to go ahead and get the remote to upgrade so that we'd be able to control it a little bit better. The voice works good when you're outside of the apps, but when you go into a particular app, it's nice to have the little uh, buttons and stuff on the remote to navigate around inside of different apps. But yeah, so there you go. There's the Echo Show 15, it's pretty nice. The only thing I haven't decided yet is if I'm gonna put a cover on the wall to cover up this cord, or if I'm gonna get one of those kits where I can run the cord behind the wall. So I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that yet. But uh, for now, it's all set up and it works. So yeah, it's pretty nice.